Okay. Oh shit, I got project everywhere. I just put a pump on. I had to get a pump. That one burn up. That's been all morning long. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, my phone, I don't even know where my phone is right now. But, uh, look at this. 50 bucks. Up oh, along with this. And it rolls. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's so smooth. Operates. Now, when I go out to the truck, I can just line tools out, throw a towel over them, and I can reach over there and just get them instead of bending down on the ground. But uh, I actually paid 50 for this and got that free. Yeah, and the thing is, the guy had it for 100 and I kept asking him, I said, how many speeds is it? It's just got one speed, slow. And I thought about it, thought about it, I said, well, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. What does that say? What does that say? That's a greedy. Uh, <laughs> look at that. It says you got all the speeds right here, one through twelve. I know how to do them across here. Yep. Awesome, huh? Well, the light, a little working light. Turn her on. Let me get a brad. Brad that back in that hole right there. A little sticky glue. Everything works on it. I done checked it out. That's a hundred dollar vice right there. I mean, Go sideways, that way, that way, and then I got another vise with it right here. Oh, I got that vise go with it. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to drill those hubs out. You know, I haven't showed you that video yet, but <laughs> that was pretty cool. I got them out without having to drill them. Well, I did drill them. But without having to retap it and everything, you use four or five bits. <laughs> but this is awesome. Everything on it works. Yep, sure does. Might have to grease and oil the column up a little bit, but it works. Lock it back there. A little emery cloth all the way around everything. A bunch of WD-40. There you go. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Guy was happy to get rid of it. They were running a body shop. They did uh, uh, restored old cars and trucks. They showed me some 1930-something uh, fire engines and a panel wagon that they did. And the other guy, he's way up north somewhere. And I told him, I was 50 bucks, sight unseen, that's all I'll go. And I'm not going to haggle with your friend. And he says, go get it. Call him. Make an appointment. Go get it. And when I got there, I seen Grizzly. And that's all I needed to see. So the machine shop's coming together. We got a drill press, a good one, a damn good one. We got an art welder, we got a wire welder, we got an air compressor, a bunch of grinders, and a whole lot of other shit in here. Uh, and this thing dropped on me. It's blowing oil out of the, uh, uh, gearbox on the, this side right here, the hydro. It's blowing oil out of it. So I got to fix that. The tractor's down because them rims are just shit. And that one's like paper. 
I can't put a tire on it. And the other one is the where the bolt holes are. They they're just cracked all the pieces. So chances are I put a tire on it and dead gum thing bust. But see that right there? It's all cracked and cracked all through. I tried welding them some, but that didn't help. So I'm stuck there. And this thing, I got to pull the motor and just change out the oil pump. I'm not getting no oil pressure. So, uh, damn it's Saturday and I'm tired. I've been working on that pump all morning. Just get us a pump. Uh, that damn thing there went out. I think it's the uh, capacitor on it gone. So I'll save it as a backup and try to find a pack capacitor for it and see if I can't uh, get it to run it again. And then I'll have a backup. Or I'll take it out there and put it on and get that brand new one and bring it in. But it's just $260 plus tax. Ah, damn. Shit. But there, that's 50 bucks. <laughs> that's a $500 damn drill press. Just because it got a little rust on it, don't bother me. It works. And that ain't got no rust on it. So that's awesome. Now I'll be able to, uh, this clamp here will get used more than this one probably. But I'll be able to punch holes and angle iron and stuff. Create. Yeah, be creative. Now I'm going here and getting some air or something. I'm about to fall out. My back is broke. I gotta get a gas tank for this. This thing's leaking. Shit. <laughs> oh, there's a brand new tire right there, by the way. I got two of those. Yeah, they're brand new. With the, uh, uh, oh, golly, inner tube in it with a tube. Yeah, I got the other one in the house. I was gonna take it and put it on that tire, but I might get two new rims. So I might get so that stopped. That part of that deal stopped. I'm stopped here. I'm overgrowing out there with shit that just God Almighty. The grass is on. Look, you can see it by the tractor. Yeah, I used that around the porch and it worked great. I just let it leak and ran it and wasted gas, but I don't get that thing running bad. I sure do. I did some welding on it and I got that front end where it's not all flopping around. Uh, I need to clean up my wells. The rods I got are old. I've had them for about five years. About five years. So I need new rods. I had a pack. Oh God, that's up too high. All right guys, I gotta get my garage door down, close up and go in here and get some cool. It's 100 degrees out there. Peace y'all. Nanny, nanny, shots, bot, and all that other good shit. Bye.